Hello friends, welcome back to How to Do This. I am Devanshu. Today we are going to learn something really interesting. You will see how to listen new messages in Telegram using gram.js. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please do check out those videos. Those are really very help, helpful for initial setup. Remember, this is for learning purpose only. Let's get started. All right, you have already installed gram.js and know the basics. Today we are focusing on something new. We want our program to tell us when someone sent a new message. How do we do that? Let's find out. Uh, first, take a look at the initial code we have. Uh, in the previous videos, we have already installed gram.js, Telegram library, and we have created sessions. So these are the code we return. So we can. I am removing this stuff because we have already seen how to uh, do that download the file and all now today we will uh, add a special code that is uh, that is that will work like a watchman uh, that will watch all the messages listen to the messages and will uh, tell us uh, a new message arrive or like that some details of the message okay so for that let's go to the guide first so uh, for this we will go in the beta document i didn't find anything uh, related to listening to messages in this guide uh, maybe somewhere uh, inside the guide is there but for this is a very well uh, i would say advanced uh, documentation and easy to understand i feel so for this uh, we will go here click on telegram client uh telegram client will show us all the all the methods it has so <clears throat> we have here add event uh, handler we'll click on it and we can see that we have new message event callback query event album event edited message event deleted message event and this is uh, this event handler for all all the messages whether it is new message callback editor or something else so now uh, I have clicked on it and here's the code we, we can see here uh, I, we can uh, write this event client.add event handler this is the handler method that we will write uh, like this and the new message event so let's uh, open our editor is our editor we'll write client.add event handler so here we will add the method name and then new new message so when i click on the suggestion new message then uh, as you can see that uh, this new message is imported okay now i will do it like this and then uh, maybe i will add the handler here function handler or oh, here we will add the event now we are ready to uh, console.log event.message i feel this should be good so message is something is inside uh, the event so you can use that or if you use typescript then i think you should you should be able to get the suggestions Okay, here the method name is different, so it was even, it was not able to find. Uh, now we are good to go. So we are told we we told our program to uh, hey please watch for new messages. When you see one, show it to me. Add the client dot event handler line does this job. The console dot log part is saying show me the code message. Show me the message. Okay. All right, now what I will do here, uh, let's uh, first see the output. Um, we'll just move it here. Stop on this one. Now I will run npm run start. This should run my code. 
okay maybe the start script is not present so we'll directly run it run via main dot js now what i will do is i from my another uh, telegram account i will send a message just a minute yeah so i'm saying hi i have sent a message we don't receive here oh we have this one Uh, you, you would need to con remove this. My, this could be the problem, I think. Earlier, we haven't seen this one. This could be the problem. We are not getting really receiving the messages. Okay, no problem. We have updated the Telegram version. Now, I will again send a message. Hi, message. Okay. As you can see, that we have received the object of the message and let's expand this should have high message here yeah. as you can see here we have high message it's great cool stuff you can print a uh, message also message dot message now you just need to run it yeah here you can see how are you please subscribe to my channel great so uh, this is how you can uh, listen to the messages new messages great uh, listener given by ram.js now let's go dive in let's just dive into it uh, where is our guide here we have so this new messages we are passing an object and you can do more stuff uh, here let's say if you want to filter some chats uh, filter something some uh, like i want to block i want to block listening this person or this channel or something so we can add uh, the ids or the channel user id here channel uh, channel user id yes so what we will go what we will do here is we will go inside uh, yeah so this new message interface has some uh, variables like if you want only the incoming messages uh, listen only the incoming messages you can specify here so what you can do here is incoming or true or incoming oh by default it would be true yeah uh -huh. uh, if you specify it true then it will only listen to the incoming messages not the outgoing messages and if you uh, uh, mark outgoing as true then to only listen to the uh, outgoing messages if you want to uh, want to listen both the messages you can uh, you don't include it here uh, you can leave it uh, as it is like that also uh, you can listen to the particular chats or users uh, like as you can see here from users forward uh, only forwarded messages will be able to you will be able to listen also it supports regex so let's say if you want to listen to a uh, message like that should uh, start with hi so you can do that with the regex also so this is great and uh, let's say if you want to see the email ids only uh, listen the messages which contains the email id so you can easily uh, check you can easily able to create the regex and uh, pass it here it will only listen the messages which uh, will uh, have the same pattern this is about uh, this library uh, 
this is all about ad event handler if you have any doubt please let us know below in the comments and i hope this video made things clear and easy for you if you have any question and thoughts please comment below i love hear from you don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to how to do this and ring the bell icon for more fun and easy coding tutorials see you in the next video happy coding